But we're going to begin today with another profile of one of three finalists for the Georgia Farm Bureau's annual Young Farmer Achievement Award. This week, the Monitor's Mark Wildman travels to Toombs County to the farm of Chris and Mary Lynn Hopkins. To say that Banks Hopkins has farming in his blood is an understatement. Being the son of Chris and Mary Lynn Hopkins, Banks gets plenty of opportunities to ride his tractor, play with cotton, and watch his dad tend to his diversified farm. It is a farm that Chris started from scratch and at a young age has built up to a thriving operation. Right now, currently we're working about 600 acres of uh, row crops uh, in addition to uh, watermelons and also uh, been planting anywhere from 100, 100 to 200 acres of uh, winter wheat in addition to the uh, cotton and peanuts and corn. Literally, we started from scratch with 50 rented acres of land um, and, uh, and a hope and a prayer and a lot of faith. But it is not easy. Both he and Mary Lynn have day jobs at the local John Deere dealership. The farm employs one full-time employee to keep things going while Chris is away. But when he gets home, it's back to work again. It's a balancing act. It's one that I enjoy. It, it keeps me busy. Um, if, if idle hands are a devil's workshop, then uh, he can't play with mine because I'm always busy. I'd say my largest role on the farm would be um, taking care of the books, keeping the paperwork organized, getting all the bills paid. Um, there are times when I've gotten in the watermelon field and picked watermelons and hauled them myself to the local grocery store in town. And I even vividly recall being eight months pregnant, standing on the watermelon grading line at midnight or later. Still, with all of the hard work, they would both tell you they love their life on the farm. As a farmer in this country, we are so fortunate to be able to do what we do and have the freedom that we have. I'm, I'm so thankful each and every day to, to call myself a farmer. Chris is a wealth of ag knowledge. He is a former county extension agent and has worked professionally in other areas of ag. But even with his full schedule, he still finds time to help a neighbor. The Hopkins also find time to participate in Farm Bureau activities as well, and they both feel that is very important for the future of agriculture. Uh, President Zippy Duval said one time at one of our young farmer meetings when my wife and I were just getting involved, and uh, he said if you didn't like what was going on uh, legislative-wise on your farm, uh, get outside of the fence of your farm and do something about it. And I've taken that quote to heart. Uh, Mary Lynn and I have personally became very involved in Farm Bureau from the young farmer side of it as well as uh, legislative or all other aspects of Farm Bureau. It's, it's a critical part of what we do. Yeah, you know, we love going to young farmer activities and Farm Bureau is, is great about involving family. So it's easy for us to get away and we get to take banks with us and we don't have to make arrangements there. We just love Farm Bureau activities, networking with people who share our same interests. As far as the future of this farm goes, the hope here is to continue to grow and improve and watch banks graduate to larger tractors. Every single day of my life, I leave the house before before daylight and come in in the wee hours of night um, because I'm, I'm trying to set something forward so that hopefully if my son Banks wants to do this, he doesn't have to start from scratch. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Mark Wildman.